Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Friday. It is February the 10th, 2012. This is the last stock alert for this week. Uh, we've got a, actually, this alert is actually for Monday. Uh, the market's already closed on Friday. Uh, looking at Wendy's, uh, Arby's Group, ticker symbol is W-E-N. Here's your ticker symbol right there. Uh, you have this move that's been going on here, nice little uptrend, and then you get a series of lower highs and lower lows, and she actually breaks down to the downside here. You're now in a downtrend, obviously. Uh, nice sell volume behind that move to the downside, and now you've got this move, uh, counter move back to the upside here, and this is something you should learn to spot. Notice the number of consecutive days you've had to the upside here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Anywhere else on this chart, you will not find eight consecutive anything. There's not eight consecutive days to the upside, and there are not eight consecutive days to the downside. What does this mean to you? It means it's an above average condition, and typically above average conditions are not sustainable. Uh, so when you look at this chart and you're looking at the downtrend, you want an opportunity where the market has moved to the upside, or this, or the particular chart has moved to the upside, that you feel pretty confident about shorting, and that would be this particular chart. We're looking at a short 521 or higher, if at all possible. A stop off at of the previous high at 549, so the stop would be 550. Remember, you're shorting here, so it'd be one set above that uh, high point. That's where you're placing the stop loss limit. Your entry opportunity would be here. Your target uh, would be a test of the previous low here at about 470, uh, right about that point. Okay, so that's the trade we have for you for Monday. Let's look at one more thing. If you look at the ultimate oscillator, let me move this chart up so you can see it. Clean that up. <clears throat> You can see that whenever you're looking at a uh, short opportunity, you want to find opportunities where the ultimate oscillator, or any oscillator for that matter, but in this particular ultimate oscillator, uh, you, you want to look for situations where uh, you're seeing the reading at 70 or higher, and we got 71.24. So that, again, it's more confirmation that this is where you should be looking for resistance to come into play, selling activity, uh, short opportunities, that type of thing. Okay, so everything is in line there. If you agree with today's video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to visit our free website at perfectstockalert.com, 100% free service. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless, take care, enjoy your weekend. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.